So, you think you're a good shot? Anyone can spray with a carbine, but it takes a true marksman to wield a precision rifle. This time, we're covering the Longbow DMR Sniper. Designated marksman rifles, or DMRs, are designed for delivering precision fire while remaining part of a squad. They exist as an intermediary between infantry rifles and sniper rifles, retaining the scope and bipod found on the latter, while offering semi-automatic fire when needed. The longbow is an extension of the R101 platform, essentially a modification of the carbine designed for longer range combat. It boasts a longer barrel, integrated bipod and telescopic sight as standard, along with an adjustable stock and foregrip to steady the weapon. It fires the same calibre as the carbine, an 8.19mm polymer cased round. Of course, it boasts more punch than the platform's shorter variant, with a longer barrel and larger charge helping to propel the round at a very high velocity. You would expect high damage from a weapon of precision, and the DMR delivers on this front, at least compared to the automatic weapons on offer. Pilots usually take two rounds to kill, but if you can land a critical headshot, you'll quench them in one. It can be difficult to hit such a shot on a moving target, however, so it's wise to be ready on the trigger for a follow-up shot. Versus Titans, the weapon is less impressive. A shorter magazine and slower rate of fire means that while per shot damage is good, it may take a number of reloads to doom. It's probably wise to steer clear of enemy Titans and instead rely on the ranged ability of your anti-Titan arsenal. Keeping your distance is no problem for the DMR, however, as the weapon's range is very good. There is no damage drop whatsoever over any combat range. This means you can expect reliable performance, no matter how far removed you are from the fight. Recoil is moderate, permitting rapid follow-up shots, but punishing those without good fire control. Pacing your trigger to your target's distance is essential to landing successive shots. Fire too quickly and the kick will foul your aim. Up close, however, you can let loose. Precision weapons often find themselves at a disadvantage in close-range combat, and the DMR's hipfire performance is particularly poor. Rate of fire is limited by your trigger finger, and up to a maximum of 210 rounds per minute. Naturally, this pales in comparison to automatic weapons, but the higher damage should make up for this. This is assuming your accuracy is up to snuff, as missing shots will quickly erode your advantage. Magazine capacity is relatively short at 8 rounds, and reloads are pretty sluggish too at 2.66 seconds. Handling is generally slow, favouring fire from a planned position. Aim time is a delay of 350 milliseconds, and switch times are reasonably slow too. Your mobility is at the reduced rate of 95% of the base speed. The longbow is designed for ranged engagements, and your loadout should help bolster this role while chamfering any weakness. The weapon has no iron sights to speak of, and it is instead equipped by default with a 6x zoom scope. It provides a simple crosshair reticle and the best possible view on distant targets with the weapon. The high magnification means it's particularly suitable for those who like to hang back and strike from as far away as possible. As a contrast, the AOG is suited to much more aggressive use, with its lower 24 times magnification and retention of your peripheral vision. If you find yourself itching to stay in the fight, but don't want to abandon your longbow, this is the choice for you. Finally, the 4.5 time zoom scope provides the middle ground. Able to target foes with precision over long distances, but without sacrificing as much mid-range potential as the 6x scope. It is the most versatile option, ideal for those who prefer to vary their approach with the weapon. Note that the Amps longbow comes equipped with a special variation on this 4.5x scope. A unique sonar variant highlighting enemies through walls in a similar manner to the active radar ability. Overall, your choice of optic is a personal preference, but I'd recommend the 4.5x zoom scope in most cases. 
The default 6x zoom is more difficult to use at a middle range, and the low zoom AOG struggles with precision over longer engagements. So the middle option is perhaps the best balance. There are three mods available to pair with the optic of your choice. The first of which is the extended magazine. This takes your capacity from 8 rounds per reload to 12. Ideal for those who lack in the accuracy department, or those who simply want more sustained support. Next is the suppressor. And while the idea of dealing hidden death from afar sounds appealing, this mod comes at the cost of a critical slice of your weapon's power. You'll need three shots to kill enemy pilots, and even grunts may need two. This option severely blunts your killing potential, so I'd suggest avoiding it. Finally, the stabilizer steadies your scope's sway while aiming, making longer range shots easier to land. This is the perfect pairing with the 6x scope, suiting long range rolls particularly well. Overall, I'd elect either the stabilizer or extended magazine, depending on your preferred approach. Pair the extended mags with either the AOG or 4.5x scope for an aggressive roll, or the stabilizer with the 4.5x or 6x zoom scope for a long range sniper roll. The weapon favours the latter, but sniping requires a certain degree of patience. You have to be willing to position yourself away from the main fracas and wait for enemies to stumble into your sightline rather than take in pursuit. Whichever approach you take, you won't want to be caught without a good sidearm. The longbow isn't cut out for reliably tackling close-range enemies. While you can strive to avoid such combat, with sufficient ranged annoyance, you can be sure enemy pilots will seek to dislodge you. And as such, having a close-range backup can save your hide. If you like to get comfortable in a single spot, then it can be worth equipping the Arc Mines as your ordnance. While most effective against Titans and Spectres, if you lay them to cover your flank and rear, they can provide some notice of an incoming threat. Place a couple in sequence, and a foolhardy pilot might blunder into a shocking demise. Effective sniping requires good positioning. Both you and your shots must be precisely placed. Distance is your ally when facing conventional arms. You'll want to keep outside the reach of automatic weapons to preserve an advantage. To get the best view at such ranges, you'll want to elect a lofty viewpoint. Some buildings and natural terrain offer opportunity to survey the entire map. Pilots focused on ground combat might not see you, and you'll be afforded a broad avenue to tackle them before they scarper to cover. You will be exposed upon your perch, however, and eventually even the slowest of opponents will wise up to your threat. Changing up your firing location is essential then. It doesn't have to be after every kill, but the longer you hang about, the greater the threat of retaliation. So, in short, get high, shoot straight, and keep your opponent guessing. The Longbow DMR Sniper is a powerful ranged option that offers the ability to precisely target enemies at a distance. With no damage drop-off whatsoever, you'll have a significant advantage over other opponents outside their effective range. Their recoil and need to land multiple shots will buy you time to strike. Unfortunately, the weapon does suffer in faster paced warfare, and it can be difficult to keep your opposition under the ideal terms of engagement. Compared to the Kraber, the Longbow's one-shot performance is limited too, often requiring multiple shots to secure a kill. Still, the Longbow is well equipped to deliver them, and is perhaps the easiest of the two marksman weapons to wield. It offers consistency and reliable range kills, if you can remain aware of its shortcomings. This weapon might be highly strong, but it always hits the bullseye. Thank you very much for your presence, and join me next time when we'll be covering the G2A4 rifle. Until then, farewell.